And welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day. It's the 27th of September 2023. Mike Smith's in Analysis Gold Markets to lead you around what's happening as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. So across the news wires, of course, we saw major losses across all of the major indices in the US overnight. The Dow, the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 all down in excess of 1%. Selling returning on interest rate government funding concerns and, of course, continued weaker data. This was compounded by Moody's warning in the rating agency of the potential for a negative US credit rating drop if there is a government shutdown. This upset markets globally, started in Asia, forward through into Europe and then into the US. However, today we are seeing US futures slightly higher in early Asia trading and Asian markets are mixed after yesterday's selling. The Chinese and the Hang Seng are up, but the ASX is currently around about a quarter of a percent down. European futures are also pointing to a fairly neutral and cautious open. And the VIX, interestingly, did see a move higher overnight, close to the high not seen since May, and just beneath the 200 EMA, suggesting that market anxiety is growing. US dollar index is now at year to date highs, in fact, not seen this high since november it is near neutral in asia but as a result of that usd strength we saw gold breach the 200 ema support and is now testing the key 1900 level in asia today copper also testing support but to book the trend of the commodities sell-off we saw oil up again testing multi-month highs bitcoin was lower again yesterday as the price moved towards the bottom of the range but just about looks as though it's holding on to 16,000, which looks like a key psychological level and on the data front, we've seen Australian monthly inflation numbers come in at expectations, although this was up slightly from last month's figure. Later on today, we've got German consumer confidence and US durable goods being the highlights. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. And we're going to start with the Euro Swiss franc. And you can see there we've potentially got trend continuation pattern on this longer term chart. There was the high previously. And so we're testing that. So around about this 98.85 looks like an important level this is a fairly highly correlated pair so the ATI even on the four hourly chart is only around 14 pips so we can afford to put the stock relatively close for a medium term position and possibly see it move up towards that 97.30 97.35 level on the ASX AX1 accent group limited are looking interesting technically you can see that short term range between 188 and 195 that we've been trading in really for the last three weeks this was a resistance back here during early august and then we had this spike on earnings so are we brewing for another move back up towards this 218 level it looks as though we could be that would be a very healthy return from where we are now of around about nine percent to the upside it might be worth just hanging on to see if this breaches the psychologically important two dollar level want to see where this closes at the back end of the session trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now